everybody this is Christy or face to face as I'm known here on YouTube and other social media places welcome to my channel I'm so glad to be back filming today today I'm coming to you with a product review I will be reviewing Becca's ultimate coverage complexion cream and my color is tobacco I saw the mind catcher and see key do reviews on this lovely product and I wanted to try it after I saw their reviews so I went ahead and put in an order to Sephora.com it was $44 the cream comes in this long sleek package and I've always thought that the box was brown but it's actually a pewter color with just a little hint little soft metallic wash to it and Becca is written in silver and the actual cream is in a round cylindrical um, container with Becca written on it. Of course, it's pewter. The top is silver. I don't know if it's a bar or a button or a stamp or what it's supposed to be, but it's cute. Um, and that's the signature packaging for Becca products. So I think it's really nice. This is the description that I'm reading from Sephora's website what it is it is a full coverage yet breathable liquid foundation enriched with high concentrations of pigment and water now what it does conceal imperfections redness hyperpigmentation and uneven texture with this weightless liquid foundation ideal for any skin type it is formulated with a balance of 21 percent pure pigment and 22 percent water which work in synergy to completely soften the appearance of blemishes and uneven texture. What else you need to know? For seamless application, apply one pump of cream to a well hydrated face after moisturizer or primer is fully absorbed, using a brush to blend flawlessly. If you are between shades, choose the lighter shade because of the formula's high pigment concentration. Now, I remember CK saying that when she bought this cream, and she first applied it she thought it was too light but it actually changed like it it looked like it oxidized a little bit and then after a few minutes it was the same color as her skin it was a perfect match so I purchased tobacco because she and I wear the same color foundations I have to tell y'all it happened to me too I thought it was gonna be too light I thought I would have to return it and it turned out just fine so let's get on with the application I'm going to start off by applying my primer I'm going to use Lancome's La Base Pro primer and I love this primer as you can see I'm all the way down here with it I use it all the time just about every day so I'll just put a little bit of that on so my primer is absorbed and I'm shaking the container it does have a pump which I love and I'll be using my beauty blender because I just like using my beauty blender with liquid and cream foundations. I know it says to use a brush, but I don't want to. And when I applied it the first time, I used my purple sponge from BH Cosmetics and it was fine. So here we go. I'm just going to dab some on and see how light it looks. And I'll just take my beauty blender and dab it. It is a moist beauty blender. And I'll cover my chin really good because I have all that hyperpigmentation. I did one pump. It doesn't have a bad smell. It actually smells just a little bit sweet and it is um, just a tad thicker than regular foundation and this is just from one pump y'all I'm still going still applying to my face from that one pump and I'll get up under my chin and my neck where I had that eczema breakout. And I like for my neck and my face to match. I don't like for my face to be one color and my neck and everything a different color. I can't stand that. <laughs> and that's pretty good coverage. I didn't use any 
concealer. So I've zoomed in so you can get a good look at the coverage. And this is what it looks like. I wouldn't call the finish matte. It's more like a semi-matte finish. And it covers really well. And that's just with one pump. If I had used my concealer, it would just be perfect. It would be perfect. It feels nice on the skin. And all I would need is just a little bit of powder and I would be good to go. See how it turned and it just matches my skin? Yeah, really good product. I don't know what the normal pigment concentration is for regular foundations, but this one claims to have more pigment than normal foundations. And um, I can say that it's probably true because you can get medium to full coverage with this product. That was just one pump and it did all of this. So it's definitely great at covering blemishes and hyperpigmentation. The finish is natural looking, but personally, I would color correct and then use the recommended one pump because I think you'll risk looking cakey if you do two pumps of product. That's just my opinion. So that is my review of Becca's Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream in Tobacco. I hope you enjoyed this review. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this product. I know I will be rocking this for the rest of the winter because it, it's really good. Take care. Thank you to my new subscribers and my old subscribers. I thank you all so much. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.